So one of the biggest questions I get from students, um, you know, they come to me and they say, Molly, you know, I've set up my campaign and I followed all of the instructions and I ran the traffic and it just didn't work. Um, and I know how frustrating that is. And, and that's really why this is such an important topic, um, how to troubleshoot um, your traffic campaigns and um, specifically, you know, for culprits that really can cause a campaign to fail. Um, at Digital Marketer, you know, if we create 10 ad campaigns on any given day, you know, we will expect one to do with one to two of the campaigns to actually succeed, right? Um, to to break even um, and to to acquire leads and sales uh, for the business. Running traffic is is hard, and it, you know you can't expect every campaign to succeed even if you followed all of the steps and you've checked off all of the boxes. And, and there are a few reasons um, that your campaign might fail um, that you really might not be thinking about. You definitely can't throw away every campaign that doesn't perform right out of the gate. You kind of have to look at this like you're a doctor, right? Um, and you have to look at the campaign and you have to start to try um, to um, isolate issues and see if you can really diagnose and see if you can fix the problem. Troubleshooting and optimizing campaigns takes just as much time as the initial research and, and setting up the campaigns. So I want to show you this flow chart. Um, it's actually included in the resources uh, below, and I think this will really help a lot of you guys. Um, basically, it's going to walk you through questions um, in order to to find a solution. So, you know, if your boss is saying, hey, why isn't this campaign performing or your client or you're running your own business and you're trying to figure out why can't I get this campaign to convert, um, this flowchart will help you. So the first thing you want to ask is, you know, and again, this is on any traffic platform, right? Is your ad getting impressions? So if not, then your audience or your budget may be too small or you may be uh, bidding too low if, if you're bidding on this specific platform. So that's the first thing we want to ask. Are people actually seeing your ads? Because if they're not, obviously um, there's an underlying issue there and that's why it's not converting. So if your ad is getting impressions, are people actually clicking on it, right? And if they're not, then, you know, your ad isn't compelling enough or maybe you're putting it in front of the wrong people. Um, so we really need to go back and think about the targeting and, and the ad copy and the creative. If you are getting clicks, then we really need to think about the landing page and where you're sending traffic, right? Um, and if you are getting conversions on the landing page, um, then we need to move to retargeting. So, you know, you're putting the ad in front of the right people, you're sending them to the offer, they're converting on the landing page, um, but, you know, the campaign still isn't ROI positive. So this means you either have, um, you either have, you know, you don't have a, a marketing funnel in place that can really maximize the revenue. Um, or maybe that means that um, you need to set up some retargeting and you need to set up some ads and really go back to the last lesson um, and make sure you're pushing people from one step of the marketing funnel uh, to the other. So if you are retargeting, um, it, well, if you're not retargeting resources for that here in this flowchart, also, of course, uh, the retargeting lesson here in the course. So if you are retargeting and you still aren't seeing results, um, then you really need to think about following up via email. Um, so yes, I am retargeting, but uh, you know, I and I, I, they are opting in and they are converting, but you know, I'm not following up with them via email. Um, although that's not a part of paid traffic, you know, having an email follow up system. Um, is really, really crucial and um, and making sure you're you're maximizing the revenues and that you're not only following up with people in ads, but you're also following up with them via email. So there's a great resource for that um, if you're not following up via email. So just to go back to the uh, to the flow chart, you know, are you getting conversions on the landing page? Okay, what if you're not, right? Um, then, then that's definitely an issue. So you're putting your ad in front of the right people, they're clicking, 
and they're hopping over to the landing page, but they're not converting. So um, the next thing that leads us to is, is your ad congruent with your landing page? And we'll talk a lot about that um, in, in a later video here in this lesson. If your ad isn't congruent and you're making a promise or you're using a certain design and you're not mimicking that on the landing page, then you need to improve your congruency and you need to improve your ad scent. That's where your campaign is failing. You're getting them to the page, but you're losing congruency and they're, they're bouncing off of the page and they're, they're leaving. So if your ad is congruent with your landing page, then we need to look at the targeting. So are you putting, you know, are you putting this message in front of the right audience? If not, then definitely go back to uh, the targeting video in the Facebook lesson. Even if this is on a different traffic platform, all of the same principles still apply. If you are targeting the right audience, then we need to, to, to ask ourselves, is your landing page compelling? So, you know, it's not only congruent, but is it compelling? Does your sales copy really make you want to convert on that page? If not, then you need to improve your landing page by, uh, by reading the resource that's linked here in the flowchart. And then lastly, that leads us to, hey, do you have a good offer? Is this actually something that people want? And um, that's really what we're going to talk about in the rest of this video. Um, and, you know, I'll also cover three other big culprits of a failed ad campaign in this lesson. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about and, uh, and something that's very important for you to look at if your campaign is failing is your offer, right? So it doesn't matter what you're running traffic to. Your offer could be blog posts, you know, social media updates, content videos, case studies, quizzes, surveys, white papers, webinars, flash sales. We've talked about, you know, all of these different kinds of offers throughout the lesson. Uh, but if you're not offering something that someone actually wants, then conversions aren't going to happen. You, you can't, you know, pretty up something that, that people um, don't want with a solid marketing message and expect uh, conversions and for people to actually buy. So, you know, this is really one of the biggest um, underlying issues that I see when people are running traffic um, is they expect this campaign to work magic on an offer that the market doesn't even want. And, you know, of course here, the medium of the offer is irrelevant, right? Um, are you running traffic to something that people actually want? Are you solving a problem for a specific group of people? Are you giving them value? Is there a specific need for what you're offering? Because if you do have something that people want, your ad and, and you put it in front of the right people, um, your ad could honestly kind of suck and people will still want it because you're giving them value. You're solving a specific uh, problem for them. Um, you're, you know, it, there is a specific need for what you're offering. And if your answer is no to any of these questions, um, you really need to go back and look at your offer. You found your problem. You aren't offering something that people actually want. So of course your ad campaign is not going to perform. And like I said, this is the most common issue I find when people say their advertising campaigns aren't working. No matter how compelling your copy, how attention grabbing your image, the best marketing campaign in the world cannot solve an offer issue. 